we're back with more random battles to the top. We're 2270, so we're around the 2300 range. Not a great lead matchup. Tinkerton's annoying. How do we beat it? It's going to do knockoff. It's going to do Gigaton Hammer. I mean, Tauros is alright, but it does lose to Play Rough. Hmm. So, we don't... We basically don't have a switch into Tinkerton right now. We can Intimidate... Switch Intimidate to knockoff. Switch, switch Intimidate on knockoff and then go to... I don't know, Lurant? I think we just take damage on it, honestly. We'll go Tauros and then take damage on it. Hopefully they don't SD here. Okay, that's alright. Okay, this worked out fine. Not great, but fine. Also, we are finally rolling out the... Earthquake? Play Rough? Okay, all right, that's overall fine for a Pokemon that I was really weak to. We're rolling out memberships for the channel. So if you go to my my main channel, let me pull that up over here. If you go to my main channel, we do have memberships live. So you can become a member. There we go. Yeah, you can become a member. The main access for now is you get access to the private Discord. Um, other stuff too, like we're going to roll out weekly showdown teams you can use. Maybe members only videos where I talk about Smogon tournaments. And... Wolfie does his VGC tournament prep. I also do my tournament prep. Obviously, mine is not as valuable because I'm not actually winning the whole tournament. But if you want access to that too, you will have mine if you want that. Your rental codes, etc. I will be going to a couple VGC events in the future. Again, this is one of those things. If you want a little bit more content, you will be getting that with the membership. Again, main offering right now is the private Discord for now. Uh, but yeah, there's no obligation. I just figured if you're interested, this would be a good place to do it. But let's get back to the game. Close combat. Close combat is always free. Into Polarath. 28. The main idea with these membership offerings is for a while now I've wanted to... I've thought about the question, how do I give more to people who want more? And also, it re reduces the reliance on sponsorships. If there's another way to make money. It's not trying to, you know, you know extract. It's just more like... Hey, if you want it, it's here. That type of thing. So feel free to check it out and uh, give me your... I put a community post out. I don't know if you guys saw that, but feel free to give me a little bit more um, insight on what you think would be a good fit for that. If you're in the Discord, it's much easier to uh, let me know as well. So that's another uh, positive thing. And it's not... There's some controversy about it replacing the current uh, free Discord and creating like a premium, you know, paid thing. And it's kind of like that, but it's not as, you know... Malicious, it's more like, if you do want it, it's there. Uh, the active Discord currently will be maintained. It'll still be active. There are plenty of really, really good moderators who are keeping the chat doing well. So that's also there. Uh, Lurantis, we're going to get hit by the Mock Punch. I'm going to go Meow Stick. A little greedy. If they knock off, they knock off. But they don't. That's good. Uh, that is pathetic damage. Psyshock does not even KO. But Oh, but it will do damage into Chansey there. 44 is great. We have a nasty plot. Ooh, that's a lucky T-Wave dodge. Now we go in. King Gambit? Okay. Oh, that King Gambit the whole time. Yeah, nothing doing there. We'll go to Tauros here. They have no fighting type switch in. Okay, this is perfect now. We we had no way to touch it. Now we have close combats coming into Tinkerton. That's great. Yeah, we're really pushing a lead here. We'll go Lurantis. We don't need you. Honestly, we don't even need Meowstick. Meowstick will never beat King Gambit. How do I want to play it? Who do I want to get rid of? 129? It literally doesn't even beat Chansey. I think Meowstick is more valuable than Lurantis. Facade. Two cannon does outspeed. Oh, but my, my stupid Beak Blast move is terrible. Oh, it's not. It's actually a good move, but it does involve me getting hit for it to actually work. I don't faint. They'd have to Terra, and they don't even... They have to have to Terra normal to knock me out, which... If they Terra normal, then Tauros can beat it, so... And then they don't have a Terra on King Gambit, so I'm gonna beat Blast. I don't faint, and I get rid of it. Okay. That's good. We're pressing the lead, but we do have to be careful because a, a Terra King Gambit can steal any game. So you have to always be careful about that. Good thing we have Bear Tick into Flygon. 
what do we want to do here? I think two cannons done its job. We want to prevent a dragon dance, so we'll boom. That will doesn't really matter. Okay. The Terra Rock is interesting. Do 30 on that. They... So, I do I chip and intimidate off? I don't... The thing is, I want to have a physical attacker for Chansey. So, I'll have to be careful about how I manage my resources here. Two cannon... I do want two cannon around to outspeed King Gambit. Meowstic is my least valuable Pokemon. Oh, they dragon danced on Bullet Seed there. Interesting. I have Aqua Jet Bear Tick, so I'm okay. I have I have Aqua Jet on Bear Tick, so we'll pick that up here and then okay. And we should be comfortable versus King Gambit, Chansey, and without Terra, basically. I do expect King Gambit in here. They go Chansey straight away. Now... Is it time to Terra Ice? Maybe? I would not- I would get the knockout here. They can dodge the attack. But what am I gonna Terra? I guess I could Terra Raging Bolt as well to uh, get Sucker Punch immunity. Not immunity, but weakening. How much would that do? My Thunder Bolt does like 45 to it. I just go 2 cannon every time, I think. Okay. Okay, this is getting a little tricky, but they're going to try and paralyze me. As a key. They want to keep King Gambit to set up win on 2 cannon, so I'm going to go Raging Bolt now. A little bit of a maneuver here. Okay. And now I Thunderbolt. And I should have strong Thunderbolts into King Gambit here. 44. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Now we win. Alright, we got that. We got lucky with T-Wave dodge, but then again, Meowstic was never beating King Gambit, so it's not that lucky. Serena into Gouging Fire. This is bad. How do we deal with it? We do have Flash Fire Typhlosion. That's good. No Intimidate, but Guts Luxury is fine. Al Creamy, okay. Executor? It can bait Outrage, but what do you do after baiting Outrage? Not much. We'll go Hard Typhlosion. I expect Dragon Dance here. Yeah. We'll have Scorching Sands here. We'll see if they what they want to try and do, at least. It, I might have to... Okay. They Outrage immediately. Ooh, do I want to go to Alcremie, or do I want to give up Typhlosion? Because if I go Alcremie, Outrage gets reset. Uh, I can do that. I can go Alcremie. I can go all creamy, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this has worked out all right. Now, the one in three confusion. Okay. A potentially dangerous Pokemon. We handled it. We took a lot of damage. So I think they would think they got value too. But we also got what we wanted. Now our Serena could be... Honestly, Serena is one of the more annoying random battles Pokemon. And it might be doing well now that we've gotten rid of Gouging Fire. The main thing is its versatility. You never know what move it has, what item it has. It's hard to predict. Heavy Duty Boots, Choice Scarf, does it have Rapid Spin or not? I don't think my moveset here is particularly good, but the versatility of it makes it an incredibly dangerous Pokemon, even though it's not particularly, you know, strong or anything. They go to Sauce Buck here. 216, unfortunately, is a little too fast for me. I could go Hard Executor, which I don't mind. I mean, they. what could be annoying is that I have no Pokemon that outspeeds it. My team is really, really, really slow, so I'm going to have to be aware of that. I'm going to Alluring Voice to deny Swords Dance, or at least make Swords Dance more challenging. 
Yeah, I'm okay with fainting there because I wanted to deny that. We'll go to Serena. We have Triple Axel. They don't really know what we're doing. We could be Scarf. Okay. Hopefully we pick up Saucebuck here. Okay, one. We need two. There we go. That's good. Okay. So a 5-4 lead, but we've taken a lot of damage, but overall pretty equal. Now they go to Florges, okay, and they're one point faster than me. That's unfortunate. Does Oricorio beat Florges? I don't want to find out. I could Terra Steel. Nah, Terra Steel's not good. Is it? Maybe Terra Steel could be good? If I Terra Steel, it's a very big commitment. They're going to Moonblast here. Terra Steel is a big commitment. I would have to Terra Steel uh, Synthesis here. I would keep Serena alive. I'd have a strong Power Whip. But then I wouldn't have... No, I think I think I value Terra on Luxray more. Having a Terra Normal Facade is going to be great for my game. So I'm just going to give up Serena here. Uh, we'll Trailblaze to outspeed Floor just now. We'll see what they try to do. Okay, we have speed, we have power. Now we have Terra Normal Facade, they have Protect. That's not good. But Floor just is really an elite Pokemon, and it's especially elite when you have an entire team slower than it or physically attacking, or especially attacking. So I'm gonna I'm gambling on Luxray to I'm gambling my Terra on Luxray because I feel like if I'm gonna break through, it's gonna be before Floor just tries to beat me 1v1. So I'm hoping to pick up pick enough of a hole that Ori Corio can win late game. Okay, we at least forced the Terra Steel. I'm happy about that. Now we have ideas with Typhlosion. It could be that they're comfortable Terra Stealing because they have, you know, Water-type Pokemon. So, yeah, there we go. Pelipper. Now, that's going to boost my Hurricane with Oricorio. It's not going to get, you know, affected by stuff like that. Do I go Executor? Or do I go Oricorio and try and quiver my way through? Surf would do a lot of damage, which is unfortunate. But I think I like it. We're going to have issues with the Steel type. Oh, they go to Smeargle. Okay. Well, Hurricane Confusion is my friend. It probably has Whirlwind. Spore and Whirlwind, probably. Okay, at least we have Executor here. Yeah, this is not winning. This is not winning at all. The Terra Steel is is too tricky. I have to go hard or choreo. I have to wake up. Yeah, this is not this is not it. Yeah, maybe if I didn't have, like, the long sleep, I could have done something, but an entire team weak to Florgis and slower than Florgis is always going to be tough. Okay. Calric Shadow into my Nemesis Probo Pass, but this is more of an offensive Probo by the looks of it. Keldeo's okay. Frostlass is... It's much better if it has spikes. Vaporeon is good. Leafeon's alright. We have a good team. Uh, they don't do a lot of damage to me. Let's just break it. 41. Rocks go up. It can have T-Wave. I'll go to Vaporeon now to figure out what they have. Because I don't want them going to, you know, a dark type, normal type immediately. So Vaporeon would cover that. And it's a m Pokemon that least cares about T-Wave. Okay, looks like they didn't have it. 
go scald fishing now. Okay, they have a tentacruel. Scald fished. Okay, so if they have tea spikes, I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah, if they have tea spikes, I'm in trouble. Back in the day, scald spamming in Gen 6 UU was really, really common. You would like whip Tenacruel and Polion, Vaporeon, Sweet, and you just be you would just keep scalding into each other. Now, how do I want to play it? If the, if the T spikes are going up, they're going up. I'm not going to be able to do anything about that. Sludge Wave is coming in too. I'm going to go Frostlass. Yep, they go up. I can't stop that. But it, mm, oh, that's annoying because they can have they can have Probo Pass here. And that would shut down my poltergeist idea. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in a lot of trouble here with T-Spikes. No way to remove it. Entire team weak to it. One, two, three, four, five Pokemon weak to it. And it's not like my team is, you know, really offensive either. Okay, so what I have to do... I have to win with Dodrio. So I'm going to go for a little bait strategy. They're going to go Probo Pass, and I'm going to trade my... Uh, Probo for Frostlass purely to remove it. Okay, they scouted that, that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna triple Axel this time. I think they might go back to it and then attack me to not uh, knock, knock me out. Okay, that does not do enough, even getting the predict right. Hmm. At least I have Wish. Wish is one thing that'll help me, you know, maneuver something. But I want to get damage on Probo for Dodrio. Because I'm going to really back Dodrio to win. They're going to use a move like... I mean... Actually, I'm just going to Destiny Bond. Oh, they don't even knock me out. That's tragic. It's 50%, right? Oh, no, no, it's not 50%. It's, um, guaranteed. There we go. Two, seven, seven. Okay. That was weird. Is it guaranteed or 50? Fails if the user... Yeah, they could have attacked me. Okay. Okay, I got, at least I got damage on them. We can try breaking through with Calric Shadow, see what they have. Twenty-three oh two, we are twenty-two seventy right now. Calric Shadow. Okay. We pick up one. Dodrio looking better. We're gonna have to basically attack quickly, is the idea. And they have a ditto. Well. Oh, I guess that's fine. I have Dodrio. I'm gonna. Uh. The problem is if they if they Psy shock into me, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a play. I'm gonna play aggressively. They could very well Psy Shock, and I take a lot of damage if they do it. Or I could stay in on Psy Shock. Which honestly isn't even a bad strategy. You know, or I could play it safe and go Vaporeon too. Because Vaporeon isn't going to beat a Tentacruel. Yep, there we go. Ah, the problem is I can't even Swords Dance because they copy me. So I have to I have to get my damage the honest way. Now they have now they know they have a free Psy Shock into me, because I I'd have to Terra Steel Keldeo. Oh, I could Ooh, I could Terra Dark Leafy on. That could be a way to cause problems, but even then. Okay. A little annoying to get disabled there, but knockoff is fine. So we're going to pick up KOs, we're going to equalize on the the number of Pokemon, but other than that, it's not looking good. 
I think there are lines where I have to try... Uh, I, I have Terra options and Keldeo and Leafy on. I have to win quickly. Keldeo is never going to beat Tentacruel here. Not, not, not if it gets poisoned. So then what? Ditto? It, it depends. Maybe they don't have a way to beat Dodrio. I could take advantage of it. Maybe. Well, they go to Minen. Which I outspeed for the record, but... Minen outspeeds Calrex. Calrex. Do I go Leafeon? I can go Leafeon. Okay. Thunderbolt. Alluring Voice does not knock me out. We Leaf Blade. They know I'm Life Orb because of no leftovers. Uh, yeah, this is not good. But if we can remove Minun. Oh, they go Ditto. Okay. Now, I don't actually faint to anything here. I'm just going to knock off. Oh, I fainted to... Okay, that was a high roll. I was not likely to faint to that. Guess we go Keldeo, but Keldeo's not winning. Hmm. We'll double switch Calyrex on Tentacruel. Now we'll try and Psy Shock our way through. They, they just, they go to Minun here always. They always go to Minun and they always take a hit and then Thunderbolt. I can't beat Minun. I have to hope for a choke, like maybe they give up Tentacruel here. Ditto revenge kills. I Terra Steel Keldeo to beat Psyshock, then somehow it, the end game works out with Dodrio. That's the idea I think I'm gonna have to maneuver. But even then, that all depends on a choke. I think you always go mine on here for no cost. You always go mine on you live a hit and you T bolt because you outspeed me, yeah. Nothing doing. Okay. Dodrio time. Knockoff. Maybe they go hard ditto. You have to play choke when you have a bad matchup. I wonder. They go to Tentacruel. Now, I'm feeling a little better. Because what if I can Terra steal my Keldeo... After we've gotten rid of Tentacruel. What if that's an idea? Oh, we'll brave bird, I guess. Uh, doesn't matter. Okay. Now they revenge kill with their own ditto. Yeah, nothing doing really. We go to Keldeo. We Terra Steel? How do we beat Minun? If I Terra... I'm taking a little too much damage. I Terra Steel here. Okay. Oh no, I lost anyway. GG. 2252. I'm going to end it there and thank you guys for watching. Not a good day today, but we'll come back tomorrow.